come sooner than later. Um, I uh, just as far as the season goes, just how my outdoor, my indoor season went. You know, from training and going into outdoors now, I feel like it 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 will come sooner than later. All right. So how's you how's your training for the Summer Olympics at uh, going at this stage? Um, it's it's going good. You know, we're starting to uh, we're going to start to do some more technique stuff. So uh, this um this starting this week, you know, the past three weeks we've been doing just a lot of conditioning and getting our base back right. Um, throughout the indoor season, you know, we uh. We trained, we got some speed work in and just try to tweak some of my technique a little bit. So training through the indoor season and then coming to now, I feel like I'm a lot stronger and uh, I feel like I'm getting a lot faster. And soon we'll start to work on the technique stuff a little bit more and, and hopefully the technique is better. And I will all translate onto the runway when I'm competing and um, hopefully big numbers come up. Have you ever tried a long jump? Yes, I uh, I got fourth in long jump at uh, World Indoors. Okay. Um, but uh, I feel like it's 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 a work. We're working on a long jump, probably not as much as triple jump, but we work on it every now and then. Uh, I feel like long jump is just uh, if I get faster, and that uh, and long jump will take care of itself. I just need to, you know, get my approach right on, my, on the wrong way and, and run and run fast. And I think I can, I think I can also do something in the long jump in London as well. Okay. Um, uh, born to uh, immigrant African parents, and uh, until recently, most um, people did not know that fact. Um, can you tell our audience where in Africa your parents are from? Uh, my parents are from Freetown, Sierra Leone, Africa. Um, my mother came when she started high, uh, college at the University of Arizona. And my dad, he uh, he was going to school in New York. And then um, well, they, they were married in Arizona, and then that's when I was born. They had me in Tucson, Arizona. And then... Um, you know, I grew up in grew up in Phoenix, Arizona. So that was and they they came when they were when they were in their twenties. Gotcha. Okay. So have you ever been to Sierra Leone? I have not. That's one of the things that I would like to do. Um, hopefully after the season I wanted to come for uh Chris, around Christmas time. Uh, this year, so that, that's something that I, I've been trying to plan. If I, if everything goes the way that I hope it does, I'd like to doubt that my family go go to Australia for Christmas. Okay, okay. Um, the world champion, you know, it is a well known fact that um, uh, most world champions have a platform to advocate for some good in the world. You know, now you have. A mm -hmm. Um, right. What is the area that you want to focus your energies off uh, on off the field? I mean, that uh, something that you would like to advocate for. Um, I feel like the only the only reason that I have this platform is because the Lord, the Lord, he, he gave me this platform to use um, to to show the world how, how good of a God He is and how powerful He is. Um, I feel like that's the only reason why I'm. I'm here at this point, um, he he gave me, he had to give me, give me that spark when I was a baby, when I was born. Is what I was called to do, you know. So I feel like I'm gonna if he's giving me the talent, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna show I'm gonna show the world how how great of a God he is and to not misuse the blessings that he, he's giving me. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Sierra Leone, where your parents are from has been known to be a athlete, um, whether directly or by descent, like you are, you know, you were born here in the United States. Uh, famous examples are United Barber of France, uh, in, 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 your, in your current fellow U.S. teammate, Jennifer Tamo, who's uh, 
a student at uh, Texas A&M University. Um, she's also a member of the U.S. team. Um, she she was at uh, the World Championships in Daegu uh, for for the 200 meters. Uh, but the country has a very poor record internationally in in, in global uh, in, in in global athletics competition. Um, what do you think should be done to uh, remedy that situation? Um, I think it takes I think it, it takes a little time, but uh, the, the athletes are there. You know, you don't have to go looking for athletes. That they they just need the support and they just need you know people to people to help them. You know, it's, it's hard to it's hard to do any type of sport just on your own. You know, you need someone to help you, you know, uh, have you, um, you know, put out there. Right. So I feel like that, once that gets going, I feel like sports in Sierra Leone will definitely get big because there's so many great athletes. And I feel like if, if Sierra Leone can get on that, on that stage, the world stage with with the rest of the world, they they would be there would be really good competition in a lot of sports, soccer, you know, track. So I feel like once that happens, and people start to see that the Olympians are, are awesome athletes and they, and they can compete with the best of them at a high level, that they'll start to support even more. So I think it all just starts with it all starts with support. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 and I mentioned those names, um, uh, Jennifer Tamor, um, United Barber. Uh, of course, you know all I see say. He was also an American citizen, uh, but she she's uh, competing for Sierra Leone. Um, have you ever reached out to any of these uh, other athletes who are from uh, the, the land of your ancestry, like kind of relate or connect with them, you know, just to, yeah. just to reach out? Yeah, I, I actually, I think... Uh, Jennifer is is my cousin. I think we might be cousins. Um, so I talk to her all the time. I've, I've, t- I've spoken to Ola, um, and I've also talked to uh, uh, he ran the sixty meters. Ibrahim, yes. Yeah, Ibrahim. Yeah, I talked to him a while. I talked to him a while back before, like before even I started to. Um, before even I got onto the world stage, I, I contacted him. I wanted to know about um, just Sierra Leone athletics, and uh, we talked for a little while you know, on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we talked for a little while on Facebook, and I also spoke to Ola about because I know she competed on, on a few. Uh, she went to a lot of you know World Championships, Olympics for Sierra Leone. So I just wanted to know, you know, what how she did it. How, what was the process? Um, right. So like now, I know, I know it. All, I know the process now. So maybe you know, one day when I'm, you know, established in, in track, that I can, you know, switch over and compete for it. So, you know. Okay. All right. You, you also know um, there are um, other athletes. Um, uh, in other sports, who are at, at a, at performing at a very high level, like Madie Williams, um, who's um, uh, a cornerback um, that plays in the NFL, as well as uh, Jibril. Well, Namdi, I've known Namdi. Oh, you said who? Jibril Wilson. Jibril Wilson is Madie. Oh, Jibril Wilson. Oh, okay. He was from actually from Sierra Leone. Jibril Wilson oh, wow. in Freetown. Um, he actually was drafted by the New York Giants, and uh, I think he currently plays for the Cincinnati Bengals. And uh, Madi Williams was uh, with the Minnesota Vikings. He's currently with um, the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, and these guys are at the upper echelon in terms of uh, high-level performance. Uh, have you ever uh, been um, uh, able to connect with any of these guys? I haven't. That would be awesome to do that. I, I didn't. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. That'd be awesome to be able to, you know, sit down and talk with them. You know, so we have a. We definitely have a lot of common. Right. So that'd be that'd be nice to, you know. Okay. Um. So you, you were mentioning that you have uh, been able to link up with uh, Namdia Samoa, who actually is um from Nigeria. Who is uh, well, Nigeria. Namdia's from his parents from uh, from Nigeria, but he was born here. Yeah. Well. Uh, what connection with uh, Anamdi? 
uh, when I was young, my older brother, he played football at Cal. And uh, him and Namdi would, would be close friends. And every time I would come um, visit my brother, I would see Namdi, you know, all the, the rest of my brother's teammates and stuff. And, and he's, uh, Namdi, he's been a, been a good guy ever since I remember when I was small. So I, that, that's, that was the way that I... Uh, I first met him, but I haven't obviously I haven't talked to him in a really, in a while since I was small. Okay. But it's just it's just awesome to see what he's doing now. Right. On the, on the football field, yeah. Right. So so now I mean now you know quite a number of, of, of athletes who have achieved at the highest level, but you 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 I mean, you're already on your way. You you already go you're already a gold medalist, and um, you're looking to add to. Um, to uh, your 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 collection of uh, medals, um, you have the London Games uh, coming up. Um, what are your ambitions for the games? Um, uh, I would I, I obviously I want to I want to win I want to win the gold medal in, in both the long jump and the triple jump. Um, I want to break I want to break the world record. At, in the triple jump. Um, I feel like leading up, leading up to the Olympics, I feel like it would be good to uh, to just win every meet that I compete in, just to keep, you know, keep uh, keep the confidence up, and you know, just just to let let everyone know that it's not going to be easy to to beat me. So. So like uh, just doing that and then getting there and finishing, you know, it's, it's, it's a big stage. I've, I've never been to the Olympics. So I feel like just keep staying focused and not, you know, letting other things get in the way while being there in London because I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the Olympics. So I just, I just want to, you know, stay focused on the task at hand and, and get get the, get the job done. And, and then... um everything hopefully everything will you know I'll be able to have fun after that <laughs> without my family I have a lot of family in London so okay it's, it's definitely an experience wonderful wonderful well I I, I I wish you good luck in um in, in your endeavors um I uh I, I I hope you can come home back with the gold medal in in the in the triple jump as well as the uh uh, as well as a long jump, um, and uh, Sardinians uh, around the world will be also rooting for you, um, despite the fact that you're competing for the United States. We're, we're all one. We will support you wherever you are. Um, this is your own uh, heritage as well, and uh, we'll, we'll look forward to your to great performances in, in seeing you compete at the uh, at the London Olympics. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No problem at all. Now that was my interview with U.S. triple jumper and long jumper Will Clay, an accomplished young man who is going places, who is doing things, and uh, we wish him the best going forward in his career and uh, hoping that someday soon, before all is said and done, by the time he decides to pull the curtains on his career, that he would have achieved that uh, record that he uh, had talked about many years back that he wanted to, to, to break. He has, a, he has a talent to do it. He has a, the world with all to do it. So go for it, Will. We're still rooting for you, and um, we look forward to uh, more great things to come. The 2020 Olympics are around the corner. Uh, the hype is building up. Uh, everything is on uh, on track as far as um, uh, the Olympics are concerned for, for Japan, for Tokyo, Japan. I we'll look forward to seeing you out there. Maybe that's where you'll break that record. So we look forward to that. Now, please hang tight for the next interview, which is a Zola Bud interview, and uh, we we'll look forward to, uh, well, I hope you look forward to some interesting uh, uh, stuff from it and, uh, and you know, whatever you may, you may gain from me or you regard from it as far as uh, what we talked about. Hang tight. We'll be right back. <laughs>